Okay guys, uh, yeah, two wheel centre, a deal has been done, they've honoured the price, they've done everything they said they would do, and GT sold. So what I'm going to do, this is uh, this is microphone in the helmet. So we're going to try this and see how this works out and see if it's any better or worse or or whatever. And um, we're going to see where we go. So what we're going to do. Um, So what have we uh, what have we accomplished today? Um, listen, I love I absolutely love this bike. You know I do. I adore it. But there was another bike that I really, really like, and um, it's, it's a bike we've ridden. Um, so have a guess what you think it is, stick in the comments, see whether or not you uh, you can come up with what you think we might have bought. Um, don't be particularly swayed, it could be a different manufacturer, they don't just do Suzuki's at two wheels. It might be a bit of a, a curveball for you because we've gone there. Um, and so, two years ownership. Sorry, 2,000 miles ownership. This bike has been superb. Without a question of a doubt, it's been absolutely superb. I love this bike to bits. Um, which is probably why you're asking, well, why would you think about selling it? And there is a very good reason for it. You'll have to trust me on this. And at some point, I may reveal the reasoning behind it. In fact, I will reveal it. There's a, 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 a very good reason for me changing. Um, so what do I think? Well, I think that this is probably the best bike you can, you, for me, that I've ever owned or ever had. For comfort, for smile factor, for everything. So, this is where I feel that, um, I'm kind of waffling now. Look, the, if you're thinking of a GT, go and test ride one. Don't hesitate. The Super. I am not selling it for any reason to do with the actual machine at all. No reason at all. This bike is absolutely stunning. I love it. I'm riding it now thinking, yeah, I'm talking myself out of the deal at the moment. It's so tractable. The fueling is gorgeous. You've heard me waffle on about how nice it is. So in nearly 1900 miles, we've done, this bike has been faultless. It hasn't gone back for a recall. It hasn't, um, it hasn't done anything. It's just been absolute delight. We've been on some amazing rides. This bike has opened up motorcycling for me massively. It's, um, yeah. It's just been amazing. We've gone down roads with grass growing down the middle of them, which we would never do on a sports bike. We've gone down... Um, we've done all sorts on it. Absolutely all sorts. Got comfortable on it. It's like, it's, it's like having a best friend that you're just comfortable being with and being around. Confidence inspiring. Um... I've had it for eight months. I've loved every single minute that I've been on it. Every minute. I've just... I, I, I can't give you enough superlatives out for it. So just because we're changing doesn't mean to say that I don't think that, you know, enough of it. I do. I adore the bike. 
It's just like a K4 GSX 1000, K2, K4, K6. Maybe not so fast as a K6, but yeah, definitely the K4. It's a smoother sail. It's lovely to ride. It's a beautiful machine. Would I recommend you go and get one? Hell yeah, I would. However, this bike will be in two wheel centre in the next couple of weeks, and where you'll be able to look at the footage on the video. You see, it's been a YouTube, it, it, yeah, it's, it's a YouTube um, star, really, isn't it? It's an absolute YouTube star. So, so we've done, like I say, nearly 2,000 miles on it, and it's been completely faultless. Um, it's not had to go in for re any recalls, it's not had to do anything, the, the paintwork on it. People have complained about the paintwork on it not being very good, as is fine, isn't it? Yeah. Um, people have said the residual values have fallen and they're not worth anything. They're wrong. They are absolutely wrong because we've just done a cracking deal with ours. Um, so, yeah, the, the, they're not... The, what, what a lot of the videos that are online are actually saying is if you buy one, you're going to lose loads of money. That's not that's actually not the case. Um, so, yeah, you can have a guess in the comments what you think we might have come for, um, what, what we're going to replace it with. And uh, that should be fun to see some of the, the answers for that, shouldn't it? Yeah. Um, so, yeah, so we first got it, we got on it, we did, we ran it into the letter. So, if anybody does buy the bike, there's all video footage of how it's been ridden. So it's never been thrashed. It's never. It's not had a hard life or anything like that. So we've. Um, to be fair, you don't have to thrash up. No, it's, it's got so much power. It's, it's got a lot of power and it's a comfortable ride. You can be in illegal speed limits without any trouble at all. It's, you love the quick shifter, don't you? I do. Yeah, it, it, it's like sitting in a in a Rolls Royce and be, and being just a passenger. Yeah, but it, it's, it's like an automatic so gearbox. And, yeah, it, it's really, and, and comfort-wise, leg positions. Suzuki have really got it 100% for a pill, yeah. They finally looked for a, they finally done what we really needed them to do, yeah. and that's to find a bike that is comfortable for a pill, as it is. I mean, I've I've seen uh, a couple of videos, or saw one today, actually, um, Mr. Dunfly complaining about the pillion seat, but he has had nobody on it, so how can he complain about it? He just said it was... Moaned about it being too small, it's supposed to be a touring bike, and gave it, you know, I won't say a crappy review, but pretty much, you know, it's one of the big things he didn't like about it. What would you say to that? Rubbish. Here you go. Yeah. And we've had lots of bags, and I'll be honest with you, some bags we've had booster seats put on. Mm. Um, we've paid money to, to hire the seat. To have the seat re to, to re, you know, make it thicker and more mm. padded or whatever. To make it more comfortable, um, I've had different pegs put on, Ooh. so we can so my legs are higher and or you know lower, or way. lower or whichever. Um, it's a different angle. Um, we, we've done lots of things. Um, to, to not, not to this bike. No, to, to, to other bikes we've owned. Different bikes that we've had, and to no avail really. No. Um, and when. Aidy said about test riding this before we brought it. I was like, oh god, not another one. And um, I went along with it, and you know. To be fair, Tess always does go along with it. <laughs> Bless her. So we we get on and we test rode it, and I was amazed. I, I yeah. really was, and I, and I, when I got off at, um, at two wheels, where we test rode it from. Um, I said, wow, Suzuki's really done it some justice. They well, finally got it right. I was, it mm. was comfortable. Everything. The seat's comfortable. The pegs are in the right position. I'm <laughs> not having me. You're not all thinking now, don't you? Not Why having, are you selling it? Yeah. I'm not having <laughs> my knees around my arm, my arm ear rolls and, and things. Yeah. It was really, really comfortable. So we bought one. We did. And it's opened up motorcycling for us massively, hasn't it? Yeah. We've been down, again, look at the videos, we've been down some really, some, some, some very, very narrow, yeah, <laughs> yeah, very, very narrow roads and some absolutely cracking routes. 
We've found lots of. We've done the auto route that. Some um, routes my wouldn't route even app. dream of going down. <laughs> no, no not at all. Oh. And and we've 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 been to some lovely places recently. Went to Rutland Water. Had a lovely day out at Rutland Water. We'd never known. We wouldn't take a sports bike and then go for a day out. But we used it. We're using it as transport. We've even joined um, National Trust, so we can go visiting some of their places and have nice ride outs to them and. You know, get ourselves out of the back, so we're having days out on it instead of just a ride. So it's open motorcycle massively for both yeah. of us. It has for me anyway. Um, for a rider's point of view, very, very comfortable, very smooth bike to ride, very easy bike to ride. Uh, handling, fantastic. Uh, cruise control, no problem with mine at all. I've had no issues with the bike at all. It's not had to go back in for anything, has it? Um, I've seen, again, you know, people online have said, They've, um, you know, it's had to go in for this and it's, this is wrong and that's wrong and that's not working and things like that. Well, I'm sure Suzuki put it right anyway. Um, so, yeah, so we really we just did the first service and that's been it. Um, yeah. So, I'm just sorry for it to go. Yeah, I, I will And even well. I'm a bit sceptical at what we're having next oh, yeah. as to whether it's going to be as comfortable. Mm. Is it going to be what? What I require is a pillion. Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, the reason that we're changing is because we've been offered such a good deal. Simple as that. Um, we've been offered a, a good good price for our bike. <coughs> um, and the bike we're buying is a good price. And that's the only reason. I never even thought of changing. It was just something that came about. Um, and we looked into it. We talked about it. And we said, well, yeah, why not? Um, so really, as far as the GSXS 1000 GT is concerned, fit for a eight months ownership, two thousand miles, we've had no issues. She's averaged over fifty five, uh, sorry, over fifty to the gallon. You get about one hundred and fifty miles to a tank. Um, the brakes, I've obviously just got used to them. Everybody's still moaning about them, but they do stop. If you give them a handful, they stop. It's just they're not. Uh, some brakes are more reactive. Um, you know, you, you just touch them and they're on. Whereas the G, the, the GSX isn't. It's you, you gently pull them on and it, and it brings you to the stop. You've got feel. Excuse me. Whereas when we did the BMW, you touch them, it stands on its nose. And people turn around and say, oh yeah, they're great brakes. Well, not really because you haven't got that feel. Whereas the GSX has. Um, however, if you're used to that, that immediate stopping power, yeah, you probably think that they're not so good. Um, for me, they're fine. We've had no issues with them. We've had to stand on its nose a couple of times, haven't we? And it literally yeah. needs stand on its nose. So, yeah, we've got no issues there. What else can we say? Engine, gorgeous, beautiful, smooth, silky. Um, <clears throat> still cleans up like it's just come out the crate. Looks like brand new, doesn't it? And yeah. um, what else can we say about it? You've already said really it's a pillion, it's perfect. Um, it is. It is. <laughs> The thing with Tesla, I mean, there are a lot more bikes with bigger seats, probably a little bit more comfortable, but then Tesla can't see. She needs to be able to see, and this gives her the height to see. And you'll see that we're doing more and more footage on the channel as well with stuff like this. Um, I think um, when we first got together, we, we had a, a K2. That's right, yeah. GSXR 1000 K2. Sports bike. So I, I got used to that. We had it for a number of years. Only five years. Yeah, and and I got used to it. I, I could see, and I was quite comfortable. A lot younger, obviously, um, a bit more agile and it was um... stuff. And I feel that the the GX S S is a repli replica of the thousand, the GX a thousand, <clears throat> um, seating wise. Right. Not it's not a sports bike, but it becomes a sp like sports tour if you like. Um, so I was very comfortable on the Jitsa bow, and this has the same comfort, the same comfort and yeah. same. Well, we went to France on the K two. I know, and we just locked yeah. it up and off we went. Um, and I wouldn't hesitate doing that with this. No stops, nothing. Just no, just, well, straight, down. straight down to Dover on the boat. In fact, um, I fell asleep on it. Yeah. <laughs> it was that comfortable? <laughs> and the power-wise, the way the engine, the, the, the feel is is very sort of K2 
K2, K4, K6. Well, it will be, it's that engine. But like K2, K4 was slightly less power than the K6. So that will probably bring it into the same sort of ballpark. I think the K2 and K4 were both about 150 brake. This is 150. So, and it feels the same. When you go into the corners, instead of like the, the GSX R1000, you put it in and it was like, oh, you know, this is just gorgeous. You just ease it in and it just beautifully goes it around. Wafts. I'm talking myself out of this. It wafts, doesn't it? I'm talking myself out of this. <laughs> um, so, yeah, so she's going and there'll be a new bike and we'll do, obviously, We'll bring your guys along when we do the uh, collection. And um, so we want to put this out just to see what you think we're going for. And what brand? Maybe we're going for a change. Yeah, what brand? Mm. You know, there's been a couple we've test rode before that we've really, really liked. So I wonder where we're going to go. Well, I know where we're going. You know where we're going. <laughs> so, but right. To you. <laughs> you don't. <laughs> so I'll tell you what we're going to do. Shall we wrap it up now? I think we've, uh, we've, we've given you enough insight. Um, oh, another thing, we're going back to trying the radio microphones on the next ride out, um, see if we can get with them. Uh, the idea we've got for both of us talking does work, but the trouble is you've got wires dangling and they're tapping and it's making some noise on, this, on it. You'll see out of uh, the, the video before this one. So I'm going to go back to the radio ones and see how we go. So for now, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for supporting the channel. We really do appreciate every one of you. Um, so take care, look after yourselves. Don't forget, ride safe and subscribe. Press the bell. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you in a future video. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. Stay safe. Bye bye. Bye. And cheers.